I absolutely love making healthier versions of recipes, especially sweet treats. So if you love the flavor of pineapple and coconut, and you love the idea of sneaking in some healthy ingredients too, then this recipe is for you. Hi there, my name is Katrina. Welcome to the Organics channel, where we love getting together every week in the kitchen and we create healthy and delicious recipes to keep you inspired all year long. Today, we're going to be making an Organic Greens Pineapple Coconut Frozen Treat. Let's begin today by adding three cups or one pound of frozen pineapple chunks to your food processor. So you can buy this pineapple already frozen, or you can buy a fresh pineapple, chop it up the night before, stick it on a baking sheet in a single layer, and then stick it in the freezer overnight, and it will be ready to go. Next, we're going to add in one cup of hardened, unsweetened coconut cream that I scooped out of a 13.6 ounce can that was refrigerated overnight. So you just need to open up the can the next day and you'll notice that there's this white cream on top. Just scoop that part out. You'll notice there's some coconut water left over in the can. You can keep that in the refrigerator and use in another recipe like a smoothie would be really, really good. And now to add in some nutrients to our frozen treat, I'm going to add in one handful of organic baby spinach, which is about one cup. For our sweetener today, I'm going to use three tablespoons of agave nectar. You can substitute this with maple syrup, date syrup, or even a frozen banana would work. And now we're ready to really up the nutrient level of our sweet treat. I'm going to add in one to two scoops of our organic greens. This is back in stock, I'm super excited because it's sprouted and fermented superfoods and botanicals that are made out of whole organic foods. Super, super powerful. I just want to let you know though that this is unsweetened. So that may determine how many scoops you want to add. You may just want to add in one at first and then begin mixing it up, give it a taste and see if you want to add in more. Our last ingredient is one quarter of a teaspoon of pink Himalayan salt rocks. Pulse the processor a few times and then let it run for three to five minutes, scraping down the sides as needed. So we're looking for a smooth and airy consistency. You can also give it a taste to see if it's your desired sweetness and if you'd like to add in more organic greens. You can serve this up right away for a softer texture, or you can place it in the freezer for about an hour to firm it up some. It is taste, test, time. I did not stick mine into the freezer, so mine's going to have a softer texture. Totally up to you how you'd like to serve yours. I topped mine with a little bit of toasted coconut flakes. That, my friends, is creamy, dreamy, delicious, frozen treat. So good. You probably could get away with adding in another scoop of the organic greens because it's plenty sweet. I mean, I can't even taste it. I only added in one scoop and I can't taste it. All I taste is the beautiful pineapple and a little bit of coconut. This is fantastic. It also has spinach in there. Oh my goodness, it's so packed with these amazing nutrients and you would never, ever know. Serve this up to your kids. Even though it's green, they will gobble this down, I promise you, as will adults. I hope you give this one a try. Thanks so much for being with me today. Thanks for caring about your health. And thanks for being a part of our community. I'll see you next week in the kitchen.